All right guys, we're back again with another adventure today. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get past TPN module. Your processor's not supported to install Windows 11. It's really easy, it's really cool. So the first step we're gonna to have to do, we're gonna to have to watch that intro. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go to windows.com first. We're gonna go to uh, type Google and we're gonna type in uh, Windows 11 Media. Oh, there it is, creation tool. Click that, see Windows 11, click it. And then you're gonna wanna go down here and you're gonna wanna select Windows 11 ISO. And we're gonna do the ISO, so we're gonna hit before we begin, you know, whatever, whatever, hit download gonna ask you to collect one. We're gonna want English because we speak English, whatever language you want it to be in, get that. We're gonna confirm. And then we're gonna go 64 bit. And then it's gonna start downloading. But I've already downloaded it, so we're not gonna do it. So let me go here and let's go to cancel because I've already done it. It's all right here. Next, you're gonna wanna go to Google again and type in Rufus. Rufus. And there it is. First of all, R-U-F-U-S, yeah, same thing, here it is, right here, get it? This is Rufus, we're gonna go to the latest version, Windows 64-bit, we're just gonna get this one, that is totally fine. Download it, and Rufus, boom, there it is. Don't need the browser anymore. Now you're gonna want a USB stick, one that fixes it, or what I'm gonna show you is I have a USB stick with a micro SD card in it, a 64 gig micro SD card in it. It's gonna be slower because micro SD card, but for this video, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna be doing it on a system. Uh, so you're gonna put it in. You should see it show up here. Let's see. New drive, there it is. That's the one I just pulled in. We're gonna right click this and hit run as administrator because it has the little shield. And there it is. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select. Now, if you don't have Windows, you can download it from here too, but you can just get Windows 11 from there too. That's the, the, the actual Windows 11, it doesn't matter which one. We're just gonna hit select because we have one anyways. And this is the desktop, just to show you, desktop, same thing. We're gonna select it and boom, there it is. It already has that new volume right here. If we go here again, that's 64 gig, it detected the USB stick. So make sure, you have any other USB sticks out of the computer because, or you select the right one up here if you have multiple because it will erase it. So next, what you're gonna wanna do, you can do GPT, NTF, uh, MBR if you wanted to, Cosmos, they have no, depending on what type of uh, OS, we're doing 64 bit, so it's unify, uh, UEFI. And then here's the file type, NTFS. All this is good, and then we hit start, but before we hit start, here it is. So we can name it. If This is what you wanna do. If you wanna bypass, especially if you have home, and you don't wanna have to do a, um, you know, go through, oh, I don't create an account for a home user with an email. Just do this, and it will bypass that, so you don't even have to worry about that. It'll just make a local account already. Even if it's Windows Home, it'll just go right to local account, so you won't have to do sign an email or any of that stuff, so it's pretty dang cool. Uh, next two, we can remove the requirements for online Microsoft account, which, of course, you want to select. You can remove requirements for four gigs of RAM if you only have four gigs of RAM, secure boot TPM module, and it removes the processor thing too. So if your processor's not new enough, it doesn't matter. You put this on, it basically says, I don't care. I'm going through anyways, baby, and there's gonna be no one stopping me. So then you would just hit, okay, remove. Yep, we'll create a user account. We'll just say uh, admin for now. And you can set region, disable data collection. Uh, and you can disable Bit uh, BitLocker automatically in device encryption. Usually they don't install it right away. I've never had that happen before where it just does it. Um, you usually have to do it after, but if you're just like, hey, I don't wanna take your chances, add it on. And then you hit okay. And then see here, a warning. All data on the device on volume, that 64-bit one we did will be erased. So it's gonna be destroyed. So be careful there. To continue this operation, click okay. And to quit, click cancel. Hit okay to continue. Now it's deleting it. Now it's partitioning. 
So now we will see. And this might take a while just depending on uh, what you're using. Like I said, I'm using a micro SD card, which is slow as, you know, slow as, slow as a snail, basically. Oh, there you go. Watch, it's not gonna be able to do it because it's timed out, yeah. So this little stick right here, timed out. Whatever, I'll use another USB stick just to show you guys. Let me go get one really quick. All right, I'm back. A good USB stick. Kingston, boom, there it is. Now, I'm gonna go back to Rufus, which is already open, and hit close. There it is, there's the new one right here. We're gonna hit start, yes, yes, delete, yes, boom, and okay. And there we go. Now, we got rolling, rocking and rolling now. Since this is already on the drive, this usually doesn't take long at all. I'll just let it go through. And it's creating the install file, so this is gonna be a bootable disk. So if you have Windows problems too, like for some reason, if you know they ask for a disk or USB stick that needs to be put in in case the computer is not booting up correctly or anything, then put your USB drive that we're creating and you can use it. And you can use this drive on multiple Windows installs too. So this is basically making your own bootable USB stick that you can carry around with you. So uh, if you need to install Windows, repair Windows, you got the stick to do it, baby. Here it goes. There it goes. Almost there. And then when I show you, once we get into it, you will know. Look at the 100%. Now applying Windows customizations. So after it installs, those customizations are basically editing the files themselves to stop you know, checking for those certain programs and everything like that. Almost done. 50% and I got my phone going off too. It's either other YouTuber videos that I'm supposed to be watching or if I've subscribed to or it's people trying to bug me. Let's see here, 99, applying Windows customizations, 99%, let's go. And then this will come back on after this drive right here. So let's just wait and ready okay close and then if we refresh there it is here is the windows setup so if i right click it and were to run it this way it would start the windows setup so let's see, there's windows install windows 11. yep you can upgrade computers this way too it'll get it past the upgrade too with this thing since we created to bypass it so when you do the upgrade from this usb stick too so if you have Windows 7 or whatever, uh, or 10, uh, it'll upgrade and say, oh, it doesn't matter what stuff you have. Let's update this sucker anyways and stuff like that. So this is very helpful. And if you wanna do a clean installation, you can do that too. This stick can do it all now. So I hope you guys like these videos. If you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And like I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video.